Hey guys, so this is what we're doing today. It's another cut crease look. I am using the new Huda Beauty the Rose Gold palette um, and just reviewing it as I go, sharing my thoughts, what I've experienced, and then at the end whether I think it's worth it or not. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this and I will be sure to do them. Let me know what else you guys want to see down below in general. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so I already primed this lid off camera and did this lid off camera as well. Um, to prime today I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in a light. I was testing over this concealer, it's a great base, and then I set it with Bay from my Huda Beauty palette. Um, I'm pretty much obsessed with this right now. It's really good. I know a lot of people complained about the pigments, but honestly, you just gotta work with them a certain way. Um, if you have oily lids, just make sure you're using a primer for that. My lids are medium, sometimes oily, so I like this because it really sets it in place after a set with the shadow. Um, but other than that, I don't have a problem with it. I am doing a cut crease today because I feel like with any foiled shadow, I do need to cut my crease to prevent transfer. I can use glitter glue, shadow insurance, anything like that. And when I look up, my eyeshadow transfer, so I always like making my crease a little bit higher than where it actually folds. If that makes any sense. But yeah, we're gonna get into the video right now on how I use this palette to get this eye. It's a pretty big palette. I do have a man face, so for a girl, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Yeah. So let me zoom you up a little bit and let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first color I'm going in with is sandalwood from the Huda palette. I'm strictly using this palette today. Um, and I'm taking that on a Morphe M511. It's just a really big, fluffy blending brush. Blending brush. Blending brush. And I'm just taking this all over and blending it out. This is going to be our transition. Actually, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Just a tiny bit. So again, I'm just taking this and really buffing it out. So now I'm grabbing my Morphe M514, which is just a more defined version of the bigger brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of sandalwood and henna together, just to really start defining the crease, and I'm really gonna start building it up before we go in with some more dark colors to really cut the crease and make that definition to the eye. Now I'm taking a little bit of the bossy shade right here on the same brush and really focusing it on the outer corner and really deep into the crease. Now I'm gonna be doing the shade Coco, which is this darkest other than the black on a Morphe M562. And I'm really going to start defining that crease and marking out how high I want my crease to be. So what I like to do is tilt my head back and just let the brush kind of fall into where the socket is. And then slowly but surely really build up that color. I didn't go in with too much product because I wanted to be able to blend out. But I went in with enough to where I can really pinpoint where I'm going to be cutting my crease at. So I added some of the black truffle shade to my outer corner. I just didn't realize I wasn't recording, which is great. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on a couple detailer brushes so I can cut my crease. And how I'm doing that is just cutting it pretty much head back and going through and just feeling it out. Also, you can see that there's more concentrated areas of black there. So I'm going to be cutting more in those areas and you'll kind of feel it in the groove of your eye. Even if you have really hooded eyes, when you lean back and you put your brush back, that's where it's going to just naturally fall into, is right in between the socket and the eye. So fill that out and then let me know. So I'm going to be cutting my crease. So now that my crease is cut and I really outlined where I'm going to be placing shadow, I'm going to take this Morphe B19 brush, which is just kind of like a little synthetic brush, and the shade hashtag blessed right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that around the line of my cut crease, and then on the actual lid I'm going to put Dubai. So I'm going to be using these two shades. So 
So now that I have that color placed, I'm gonna take this same Morphe brush that I used earlier, the... Oh. The M514. And I'm gonna take the shade Coco again, which is this dark one. And I'm gonna take it on the outer corner and slowly just buff it in just so that that cut crease kind of tapers off into a really smoky outer V. Um, I did, when I first tried this look out, because I always like to try looks before filming them, so I'm not any more of a hot mess than I need to be. Um, but when I was trying this look out, I tried it with liner, but I just feel like sometimes liner overwhelms my face and my eyes. Um, especially when I'm doing a look that I'm really trying to draw attention to the eyes, I feel like the liner can really pull away from it. I do like some big lashes as well, so i rather do like a smoky liner or no liner and no wing, um, and then really pay attention to the eyes and do a really detailed eye look to really open up the eyes. And then some lashes, obviously. So what I am going to do today, though, I'm going to use my Galactic Beauty Precise Eyeliner Marker. And it's this one right here. I actually have a discount code, so I'll leave that down below. Um, for all Galactic products, I love their lipsticks as well. If you want to see a swatch video of those, let me know. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a straight line across. Ooh. So what this is going to do is essentially just create more depth and dimension. It's also going to prep your lash line for some bigger lashes later on. I don't know how big I'm going to go with the lashes. I don't know what lashes I'm wearing yet. I'm probably going to get some mink lashes out. I really feel like some detailed like mink lashes or at least faux mink lashes really complement a very smoky eye look like this. Um, so now that I have that liner down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this black color, black truffle. Um, heads up, this black is super pigmented, super opaque, and it really holds onto the lid and blends pretty easily for a black of this depth. Like, this is really matte, dark black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke this out over the liner. A little bit on the inner part, but more so on the outer corner. I almost want the liner to disappear into a really deep outer V. So what I'm doing is I'm focusing it right on top of the liner. And then after I'm done really blending, I just kind of bring it up. So I really want the liner to almost just disappear into the outer corners and kind of be lifted since I do have that smoky outer part. And you see how that just adds subtle definition um, and it's not too much. As I go, I will perfect the eyes. I just feel like kind of with cut creased eyes, especially on hooded eyes, they kind of shift as you go and as they kind of work in with your natural body oils and whatever. Um, but off camera, or actually I'll do it on camera. I'll do it on camera and sped up my foundation routine. Um, it's gonna be full coverage and really glam. I like a very full coverage base when doing some, I mean, I love a full coverage base anytime, so that's nothing new. But yeah, so let's get into foundation. I'll have music playing over top and then we'll have everything listed down below. Be sure to check that out.
Alright guys, so I already put my Smolder Eye Cool by MAC in my waterline. And it's irritating my eyes today, I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to set it with a little bit of the black truffle shade on a flat definer brush. Now I'm going to take a Sigma E25 brush in the henna shade mixed with a little bit of Bossy. And this is a bigger blending brush because I really want a smoke down shadow. And I'm going to take a little bit more of the black on the outer corner because I see that it looks a little bit blank. I want the whole eye to be kind of wrapped around together as one. So a little bit more in this outer corner. And I'll take a little bit of this big shadow brush. I like a very seamless blend on the lower lash line. And I like it to be a little bit more low than most people do. Um, I just feel like it adds a lot more impact to the eyes. And it is more of a cut crease look. And I like the outer parts to be surrounded by dark lights, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I'm going to put camera... I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to put lashes on off camera. And then we will be right back to finish off the lips. Alright, guys. So, lashes are on. And I'm wearing the Blinking Beauté in design number two. Um, their mink lashes, super nice, very luxurious. They really add to the smoking, especially when I look down. I just feel like it's a whole look, you know? So I'm gonna apply my Galactic Sweet Lip Paint. It's a nice mauve nude. Um, I'm gonna line my lips with the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner when I can find it, and then I'm going to apply this. I also have a discount code for Galactic, so be sure to check that out down below. And yeah, let's put this lip on. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Um, it's very smoky, cut creasy. Overall, this palette is pricey, but I definitely do think it's worth it if you're into these types of shades and it's something that you're going to wear all the time or if it's going to be a special occasion like makeup. I wouldn't go outside the box for this palette just because it is so pricey. Um, the foils are a little bit harder to work with for someone who's just starting out in makeup, I would say personally. Um, you do need a nice base or you need to really spread them out to make sure they're not too foiled because they will start to flake off throughout the day and that's just my experience. Um, but yeah, other than